Hello and welcome to Tech Dinners. My name is Chandra and I am a Technology Explorer. So this video is about key clock user actions. So some of the users who have watched my video for key clock, so they asked me, right, uh, can you make a video on verify user or verify email, right? So for those users, I have prepared this video. Basically, this key clock user actions can be applied for a new user. For example, when you are creating a new user or for existing users also, you can make the user to do some action, right? For example, you can say verify email. So the user need to verify his email. Then you can say update password. For example, if some breach happens and you want the users to update the password before they log in next time, right? So those things you can do via this key clock user actions. Okay, so let's see directly the demo how we can do that. Yeah, so now this is my key clock. Let me log in to this. Okay, now we are in the realm settings and in one of my video I explained the whole realms, right? How it works. Okay, all the tabs you can see these are multiple tabs uh, you can see, right? So all these steps I've explained, but again, let's go to the email because we, and this video is specifically for email. So I'm talking about the email settings. If you are having your own email uh, SMTP server, right? Then you can enter the host here, then port, then this is the sender email address. So mostly it would be an admin or any other email address, right? Which your organization is using. And then again, some features like display name, reply to display name. Then if reply, you are looking for a reply, right? For example, if the user get a mail, right? And he can see like to whom he is replying. Right? That address you can give. Then enable SSL. If you are enabling SSL, then start TLS if you want to enable and enable authentication. For example, if I am using my Google account here, right? Then I enter the host as Google SMTP server details. Then in enable authentication, I need to use my own credentials. Okay. So for this demo, uh, I'm using a very lightweight client. This is a mail hog client. Basically what it will, it will do, it will hog all the mails, right? Whatever the mails your system is sending, it will capture those mails. Okay. Now you can see that uh, it is binding to address for SMTP it is using 1025 port and for HTTP where we will open our in the browser it is 8025 okay so now let's do the configuration for this mail hook so because the server is local host yeah we have taken it and for SMTP it is saying 1025 port from display name uh, you can say key clock admin from tagginess at gmail.com. Okay, reply to display name key clock admin only, then reply. I am saying reply to same ID. Okay, so yeah, so we are good here. So you can test the connection, you can click on test connection. You can see success, SMTP connection successful, email was sent. Okay, so let's open our mail hog, localhost 8025. Yeah, so you got the email, right? So this is how you uh, do the email configuration for key clock. Okay, so you can, uh, for if you want to do it for Google, you need to make some changes in your Google account. You need to make less secure because these days, like Google, not these days, but I think it's from a long time they have made this uh, things uh, uh, difficult, okay, because of security reasons. So if you want to try out these features, I will suggest go for this kind of uh, SMTP servers, okay. So now we got this email, right? So we are good to go, we'll save it, okay. So our first task is completed that we need to uh, do the mail setup okay now i'm going to create a new user over here okay let's go to users click on add users demo user 001 okay email i am saying demo user 001 at gmail.com 
first name last name i am leaving uh, blank here user is enabled email is verified i am saying off okay so now <coughs> here is this one right required user actions so this is the topic of our, our video where we are saying that user need to take these actions for example verify email so when he logged in for the first time he need to verify the email then he i can uh, force him to update the profile i can force him to update the password okay so let's uh, see these things in action okay yeah so user is now created okay let's go to this credentials tab okay and i am setting a temporary password here okay so i have set the password set password okay fine so what we will do we will try to log in with this user okay uh, sign out okay so i am saying demo user 001 so this is the first user action you can see you need to change your password to activate your account okay because we have set update password so new password i am setting okay so now the password is updated okay now comes the next action you need to update your user profile to activate your account okay so that's why i left this two things uh, unfilled over here so i am saying demo user 001 okay this this was the second one okay now the third one and it is the main one right which users were asking or my viewers were asking uh, can you show verify email address thing right you can see you need to verify your email address now we have come to our mailbox you can say from key clock admin i have got this mail that you need to verify it someone has created a key clock test account with this email address if this was you click the link below okay so this is the link to email address so once i click on link this link so that means i have verified it okay so now you can see that i have logged in successfully you can see because this is i am at the like um, console right security console this user has not privileges that's why it is forbidden okay so let's search for demo user 001 yeah so what we have seen we have seen uh, we have uh, asked the user to update the password to update the profile to verify the email okay so similarly we can um, ask the user to configure the otp he need to take the action first before he is logged into the system right he need to take those actions so this is how user actions will work and if you want now this i have created a new user and the actions we have taken now uh, if you remember i have talked about that for the existing user also you can do this right i can say uh, you can verify email once again okay okay because this email verified is there right now let's sign out and demo user zero zero one yeah so you can see you need to verify your email address so let's go here yeah we got this email again we will say yes i am verifying it now it has logged in so let's go to the user
so this is my user and you can see right i have disabled this uh, attribute email verified i make it uh, off right because and then i have applied the user action right to verify email so once the user has verified the email from this link so automatically this field is on right that means email is already very verified so this is how this features work right required user actions okay now some of you may be asking that uh, this is from the admin console management console i am doing this right what if i want to do these uh, user actions from api right you you have seen my videos on api automation right how you can create user in an automated manner right so for this what you need to do this is my add user key clock api you can say auth admin realms master users and here is the body right so there is this you can give required actions it is an array so verify underscore email so that means you are saying that you need to first verify the email update password okay so you can see this is the user chandra dot sharma 03 and i am saying that password is password and you need to do these two things okay so email verified is currently false so let's try it first again this is same thing you can see my previous videos how you can get this token and all I have explained it earlier. So I am taking the access token. Okay. Passing it in the authorization. And let's create the user. Now user is created. Right. Okay. Let's do one thing. I uh, will go to manage accounts. Okay. Okay. I am signing out from here. Okay, now sign in. So user was Chandra dot Sharma zero three and password. Correct. You can see uh, like we have created the user from this API, right? And we have we are saying verify email and update password. So first action is to update the password. So let's give the valid password. Or you can say updated password. Now it should say that you need to verify your email. Correct. So we can see that Keyclogger has given the message that you need to verify your account first. Let's go back here. Yes, it is saying and it has sent mail to this ID. Right, whatever ID I have used over here. So this feature will work only if the user is having the email address. If it is not there, ultimately, right, this will not work. Okay. So we can say link to email address verification. So if the address is verified, you will be able to see the, uh, yeah. So you can see uh, the new user is logged in and you can see, you can see the personal info, whatever you can update or anything. Okay, so yeah, so this is it. This is all about uh, user actions in key clock. So guys, uh, if you have any uh, other uh, things to ask, right? If you want me to make a video on some other topic on key clock or any API security related thing, you can comment in this video and okay. And I hope you will like the video. If, if yes, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.